Hi, I'm Derek with Wilson Pro. Today we're going to talk about donor antennas, sometimes called an outside antenna. With me is Dan, one of our certified installers, and he's going to take us through it. Dan? Thanks, Derek. The donor is the antenna that is installed on the outside of a building, and it takes the cell signal from the cell tower and supplies it to the amplifier. The donor also takes the cell signal and sends it back to the cell tower. There are two types of donor antennas, Yagi directional and omnidirectional. Understanding the differences between these two antennas will help you determine which antenna will be best suited for your installation. I want to throw in a quick note here about directional antennas. Yagi directional antennas transmit and receive a signal in a 110 degree horizontal pattern and a 65 degree vertical pattern. This is helpful for aiming or detuning the antennas. Yagi antennas provide a gain of 7 to 8 dB on the lower frequencies and 9 to 10 dB of gain on the higher frequencies. You'll need to aim a directional antenna at the signal source. This is a great feature which allows you to zero in on the cell tower for the strongest connection available when you've got weak signal. Yagi antennas will also receive a signal outside of the beam pattern we discussed earlier, but without applying any gain. This is a great feature that allows you to detune or point the antenna away from the cell tower if the incoming signal is too strong. A Yagi directional antenna is ideal for signals stronger than negative 45 dB or weaker than negative 76 dB. You can also use a directional antenna to offset cable loss in long cable runs. An omnidirectional antenna transmits and receives a signal in a 360 degree pattern. There's no aiming of the antenna required since this type of antenna gathers signal from all sides. An omni antenna provides 2 to 3 dB of gain on the lower frequencies and 4 to 5 dB of gain on the higher frequencies, which is ideal for when the outside signal is greater than negative 75 dB. A situation may arise where you have a weak signal from multiple carriers, but the cell towers are located in opposite directions. In this situation, you'd want to install multiple donor antennas on the roof, one aimed at each of the towers. This is fine to do and just requires that you install a splitter. Run a cable from each donor antenna to the splitter and attach it to the side with multiple connections. Then run a separate cable from the splitter to the booster. There will be some loss for each cable run as well as the splitter, so calculate that into your system when determining how much signal can be used. Keep a minimum of six feet between each of the antennas on the roof when installing multiple donor antennas. If you are installing directional antennas, make sure that the signal paths do not cross. Well, that covers donor antennas. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for pro tips each week. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.